everyone, I'm Gabby Vallandingham and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Films Everyone Needs to See from the 1980s Part 1. This decade needed to be split into two because I think we can all agree that there are way too many movies that everyone needs to see from this decade. So let's just get right on into it. Let's talk about some movies, shall we? <laughs> By the way, do you like my shirt? We'll talk about him later. <laughs> the first film that we're going to talk about is from 1980, and it is The Shining. A family heads to an isolated hotel for the winter, where a sinister presence influences the father into violence, while his psychic son sees horrific forebodings from both the past and the future. And this was directed by Stanley Kubrick, and this stars Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, and Danny Lloyd. So this is just that classic Stephen King horror and suspense movie slash book that everyone needs to see. If I had to recommend any Stephen King movie to watch, I would recommend this one. This is just, this is the Mac Daddy of them all, if I should say that. Anyways, go see it. It's great. It's terrifying, but it's great. The next film we're going to talk about is from 1981, and it is Mommy Dearest. The abusive and traumatic adoptive upbringing of Christina Crawford at the hands of her mother, screen queen Joan Crawford, is depicted. And this was directed by Frank Perry, and it stars Faye Dunaway. So like the synopsis said, this is a true story from the point of view of Christina. This is such a great movie. Even though it's such a sad movie, it's still so great, and I just think that everyone needs to see it. And Faye Dunaway is just... Oh my gosh, she just literally embodies Joan Crawford and I just, I love it. I think it's great. So yeah, everyone should see it. Our next film is from 1982 and it is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. A troubled child summons the courage to help a friendly alien escape Earth and return to his home world. And this was directed by Steven Spielberg. And this stars Henry Thomas, Drew Barrymore, and Peter Coyote. Now this movie, it just makes me so emotional. Literally every single Steven Spielberg movie makes me emotional because he just knows how to trigger the waterworks for people. But this is just, if you haven't seen this movie, what are you doing? You have to see this movie. It's E.T. for, oh my gosh, come on. Like, ugh, go see E.T. That's all I have to say. Go see it. So our next film is from 1983, and it is National Lampoon's Vacation. The Griswolds family cross-country drive to the Wally World theme park proves to be much more arduous than they ever anticipated. And this was directed by Harold Ramis and stars Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo. In my opinion, every single vacation movie is just comedy gold. Like, Oh, they're the best comedies ever. Chevy Chase is so good in it, and Beverly D'Angelo. One of the things I love about the vacation movies is just Rusty and Audrey in all of the movies are played by different actors, and I, just, I think that that's the funniest thing ever that they did. Like, obviously they did that on purpose because in each movie they're different ages too, and I just, it's so weird, but it's just, it's so funny. That's just what made, that's what makes these movies so hilarious. So yeah, everyone should see all the vacation movies, but especially the first one. So just like my last video, I'm going to do a mini list in these next two videos that I still think everyone should see these movies. I'm just not going to go into great detail about it, but I'm going to show the movie posters. So the first one is from 1980, and it is Airplane. Also from 1980, Caddyshack, from 1981, Arthur, and from 1983, Scarface. There he is. There's Mr. Tony Montana on my shirt in the bathtub. I love it. So the last film we're going to talk about in this video is from 1984, and it is 16 Candles. A girl's sweet 16th birthday becomes anything but special as she suffers from every embarrassment possible. And this was directed by John Hughes, and it stars Molly Ringwald, Anthony Michael Hall, and Justin Henry. 
So if you haven't seen this movie, you need to. It's such a good just teen comedy from the 80s that it just everyone needs to see it. It's another one of those just comedy gold movies. It's different from Vacation in the sense of like Vacation is definitely like just dry humor. Sixteen Candles is just all of the things that happen to Molly Ringwald's character in this movie, it's just so funny. And all of the little characters in it are just so funny. And John Hughes, oh my gosh, what a hero. I don't think many of you guys realize how many movies John Hughes actually wrote. Like, he wrote so many movies that I didn't even realize he did until I watched a documentary about him. He's a god. He is. Like, he's just so good. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a like and a comment down below. And let me know if you would have added anything to this list or if you would have taken away anything from this list. And stay tuned for my next video, which is part two to the 1980s. And that'll go through 1985 to 1989. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.